up YouTube welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Asia make sure you like comment and subscribe after this video and also follow me on my social media so today is actually going to be a vlog this is gonna be my first vlog ever I'm about to get my nipples repairs and I'm a little scared like I know I got a lot of tattoos I've, I've had my nipples pierced before but they actually ripped out of my nipples so I'm pretty sure it, but it's been like two two and a half two and a half to three years since they ripped out and they ripped out at different times so hopefully I don't have any more scar tissue and it's a breeze but I guess we just gonna have to see so yes stay tuned into the video uh, oh, shoot. we got this boo oh oh my god <laughs> wrong needle too fat <laughs> oh Jesus very fast, I promise you. Oh my god. What are you doing, girl? What are you doing? Ah! That's it, that's all you're saying. That's all you're saying. Ah! That's all you're saying. Ah! There you go, you are done. You done? Hey! <laughs> yes, you done. How was it? I'm gonna put mine in the sink. Is it in frame? Yeah. Oh my god. Who does your tattoo? Who does your tats? I got a different people. Here? Rochester? Yeah. Alright, cool. Flatliners? Yeah, I got Yana. That's how I felt when I had mine too. Uh -huh. You done though? Yes. Yeah. And Misa, I don't owe you no money, right? Misa, I owe me some money, but we'll take care of it. I, 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 I work with it. I'll take care of it next week. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. Bitch, that was you did it. I know. You yeah. come from here. Born and raised. Third and final person. So what you doing on there? Eleven. Um, we just here visiting. Here? Yeah. So you move back over? Yeah. Every okay. time I get a piercing, I'd be like, oh. So you living down there, you just here visiting? Yeah. Okay. But we from here, though. Yeah. Okay. Like it out there? Uh, yeah. Different? Yeah. Rochester? Yeah. 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 How? Like, um, basically, it's a lot more, like, people are more friendly. They stare at you a lot. Yeah. Okay, so we had just got out of the piercing shop. We all got piercings. They both had nose piercings, and I got my nipples pierced, but obviously you can't so see mine. So how many piercings do I have in total? I have one. Show yours. Boom. Show yours. Boom. You see it? You see it? <laughs> yeah, you guys, obviously you guys can't see mine, but I got mine done. As I told y'all earlier, they ripped out the first time, so I'm getting mine repairs after like a couple of years. So... I'm happy. It hurt, but it didn't hurt as bad as I thought it would be. So that's good. Period. So now we're on our way to our. Ooh, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Is so dope. Okay. Period. I love this. I love this. <laughs> okay, so now we are on our way. I look like a man. <laughs> but now we're on our way to our cousin's graduation barbecue, yes, and we gonna see y'all when we get there. Bye. Bye. What's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's me asia i know i've been gone for so long did you miss me no nope. this is actually a week later from the original recording i know i suck but yeah so so i'm about to put y'all on as to how i ripped my nipple rings okay so basically okay first i'm gonna start on the pain like how much how much did it hurt the first time and then the second time with the scar tissue so the first time i would give it like a five for the first nipple and then like a 5.5 .5 to six for the second nipple because if you get your nipples pierced your um your adrenaline is running so the first nipple don't hurt as bad as the second one 
because when you get to the second one, you already know what to expect. So your adrenaline goes down. So you feel it more. You feel me? So yeah, this was the first time around. But then I got them repaired the second time, which is what y'all just saw. Okay, so I'm going to get into how they ripped. Okay, so the first time my nipples ripped was I actually ripped the right one first because they ripped at two separate times. Yeah, <laughs> they ripped at two separate times. So the first one kind of like ripped multiple times like it didn't rip out completely but it kept snagging on stuff so whenever it would snag it would rip my nipple and then my nipple would heal and then like it'll rip again but instead of it like going back okay so this is the ring okay so whenever it would rip it would like rip and then it would go from straight to like slanted and then it will heal so it will be healed slanted and then it will rip again so it will rip and then it would heal and it would just be slanted so it got to the point where i literally had like a small ass piece of skin left on my nipple because the ring was crooked from how many times it ripped and then healed so i decided to take it out and like it kept ripping because it kept snagging on stuff so yeah i just decided to take it out and just let it heal completely so then <laughs> a year later a year and a half or so later which was the video y'all saw with the tissue and the blood basically that one is still a mystery i'm not even gonna hold you like i really don't know how it ripped like i was walking okay i was changing because i was about to go to the tattoo shop to get the tattoo i got on the back of my neck and i didn't have a shirt on so like i literally walked out of my room and like i just felt my nipple like just rip and like it really snagged and like i felt that shit i, I still don't know what it slagged on y'all i really don't like after it ripped and like i gripped my nipple like yo what the fuck i looked literally to the point where it ripped at and i didn't see nothing that could possibly have snagged it like nothing like nothing was there so i'm like yo i still don't know like still to this day i don't know what it snagged on but all i know is it got my shit good like all i was doing was walking out of my room next thing you know rip i'm like <laughs> I don't know how it happened. I don't know what snagged it, but it snagged it pretty good to the point where it was like bleeding and shit. So I just took it out. And after that, I had no nipple rings. And it took me some time. Like, I think it's been like two, three years since the second one ripped. And it had to be about four years since the first one ripped. So I was scared to get them redone. Like, I know I, I knew I wanted them done again, but I was too scared to get them done again until like literally like two weeks ago but yeah so after doing it over the second time it definitely did hurt worse than the first time because i also have scar tissue there from the nipple ripping both nipples ripping so i would say the second time the first one was like a 6.5 and the second one was like a solid seven like it did hurt like it wasn't od painful but it did hurt and like i felt that shit like you could feel the needle going through your nipple like i'm not even captain like you could feel it so it definitely hurt worse than the first time but it wasn't unbearable like if my nipples were to rip out again would i get it repairs i don't know i don't know because i i hope to god they don't snag too much and don't rip on stuff like really be careful when you have nipple piercings because they can literally snag on anything they can snag on your rag can snag on your towel they can snag on hair if you have long hair they can snag on your shirts your bras like literally anything so yeah be careful with these piercings y'all but they're so cute and i like them and i really hope these ones don't turn out how the first ones did oh yeah and also like my first time getting them pierced like they wasn't healing properly like i had them for a couple years since before they snagged and they just never healed like they kept pussing up and like forming crust and stuff so that's another reason why i decided to just say fuck it and take them out because they did not heal so so far these are healing a lot better than the first ones did and i honestly think the reason why um the first time didn't heal properly is because i switched my rings out too early like you're not supposed to switch them out for six months to a year so i had ended up switching mine out the first time around like within like a month or two of having them done and that's a big mistake do not do that okay 
and I also wasn't cleaning it properly because you're supposed to use sea salt water, but I forgot what I was using. I think I used regular salt because I was just a dumb ass. So like I used regular salt <laughs> and that's probably the reason why I didn't heal properly either. But yeah, there wasn't healing properly. So I took them out and I'm taking better care of them this time. But yeah, if you're thinking about um getting into spheres, I say go for it, sis. Like the, it does hurt, but the pain only lasts for a couple seconds. So when people tell you they do, it doesn't hurt, they lying. Like, they just saying it don't hurt because it literally hurts for a split second to the point where you think, like, oh, it's not that bad. But it hurts. It do. So, but it hurts for a couple seconds. It don't hurt for that long. Just for a couple seconds, sis, and you will be good, okay? Get them nipples pierced. Wear your shirts with no bras and your nipple rings pierced to your t-shirt, period. That's how we doing it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's all over the place because I really just everything's been going on. So I've been lacking with the videos, but I'm about to I'm about to come popping out with them again. Okay, so like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.